Hello everyone, we're randoming again. We're gonna try and find Crown of Light as the keeper. No, not likely. But I mean, there's a certain likelihood to this because of course if we're playing as a keeper and we get far enough, we will at least guarantee ourselves angel runes. Or at least the chance to get angel runes, what I'm saying is we're not gonna be making deals with the devil. Uh, even if we wanted to, we usually can't afford them. Uh, so, ideally, chaos. Ideally, I would have done this on a greed mode run and just scummed it up uh, until we got what we wanted. But you know how, you know how modes is. Yeah, we got what we want here. That's nice. No extra coin. I will take this one because I'm lazy. Uh, that's bad. I should have kept that charge. Now I realise. Why am I doing my charges at the end of a room? That's a mistake. Don't do that. Jump over here. There we go. Go into a room. Use the charge. Well, look. <laughs> this is slightly out of sync. Uh, this is a syncopated keeper run. This basement was close to the unknown, which is okay, but it's a very strange layout of the floor, so I kind of gave myself the impression that we were on a XL floor, but we're not. It could be the secret room there. Ooh, that's a good start. Uh, let's try and end these enemies before they end us. I think we just uh, bail ASAP. Although we haven't found the, the item room, of course, so... Maybe we should check there. It's not going to have Crown of Light in it, but it could have something that gets us to Crown of Light. Sure. I was just thinking if I could spend HP somehow to make this worthwhile, but I don't think that's going to happen. And Magic Mush is such a good damage upgrade that it would be foolish not to. And uh, we just got a shitload of flies from one secret room. Very cool. That'll at least help us through any room that does not immediately have exploding things in it. Which is all of them on the basement, I think. I want to see what this is. And we can get into our shop for free, I tend to forget. So we'll take this Hagalas rune and... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Make it any harder than it has to be, okay. Um, we'll take this Hagalas rune up into this room here. Use it here. Get ourselves a free key, which guarantees us the item for the next floor. I'm not even going to check to see if we got a crawl space or anything. We're just going to leave. Move on. This run will not last very long. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to try. I mean, this is probably going one of the stronger keeper starts we could hope for. <clears throat> I mean, um, it's probably a little bit needlessly self-defeating. Uh, but, you know, you have to be realistic about these things. Explosivo is okay. Um, keeper runs don't tend to last long, even with a good start, because it's reasonably difficult to guarantee. We're out of sync again. It's reasonably difficult to guarantee that you're going to get through any particular room, I suppose, is the issue here. Um, we will... <sighs> Curse of the Blind. Curse of the Blind with a deal with the devil, basically, and the keeper, basically means that we have no chance of even wishing we could take the deal with the devil, so... I suppose at that stage, we're definitely on Angel Room Run mode. No questions. Explosivo is explosivo. It's not really doing anything for us right now, mostly because the flies keep getting in. Killing the enemies in one hit because our damage is really good. Uh, but of course, explosivo is you know, stuck to that enemy, trying his damnedest to do us some good. I really hate this particular haunt fight because it's so bloody difficult. This could be the end of us right here. It's very easy to take two hits on a haunt fight. And we're so slow. Did you? I felt extremely slow. Like, I don't feel any faster than I am now. I didn't feel any faster than I am now. <laughs> See, when you're the keeper. There's different things that are involved in the Keeper here, apart from the fact that you have only 2 HP of any type, ever. Um, what I forget to accommodate is the fact that you haven't got a rate of fire that you can use to keep enemies at bay. You have to do excellent dodging, and that ain't me. I ain't an excellent dodger. I am no artful dodger. Just take the damage. <laughs> also, I'm again a little bit impatient. Um, not necessarily a fan of trying to do a Keeper run. The trouble is here, of course, is that the number of times that we've rolled things like the Lost and the Keeper, all this bullshit, in these uh, particular 
random runs that we're doing is a little bit, it's taking a piss. It's very silly how many times that we've got runs that we just have no chance to survive. Um, so I'm thinking, what was that dodge though? It got stuck on the rock. I think he just, uh, keep going with this one, see how long it lasts. It's not very long with a Ragman fight so early on. At least we've got Roid range, which is a speed up, which means we can avoid those, um, those shots. Yes. Not, not twice apparently, but okay. Uh, I think I'll just uh, roll a different character, like we did with Lilith recently. Careful there. These spiders don't really understand how dangerous it can be to just launch themselves at something like that. Could it could really hurt, you know? It upsets me to think that they could do such damage to it without really any consideration for myself, for my person. What was that particular maneuver? More speed. Uh, I have no real desire to continue. <laughs> Keep us hard enough. I'm so fast now. I'm gonna walk into something. Bit of an embarrassing uh, way of losing a magic mush. Um, stroke. Small rock start to a keeper run, no doubt. But. I mean, just as I was saying, it, you could easily take two hits on the horn fight. We took two hits on the horn fight, and again, it's because maybe I shouldn't have taken explosive either. You have a valid point, um, which I'm going to choose to believe is an invalid point because at the time I thought it was a good idea. No, I didn't. Ah, still you and your valid point. It was a curse of the blind, wasn't it? I mean, I thought it was okay when we picked it up, uh, but it wasn't. It turns out. It's much nicer to have, when you've got such a low rate of fire, it's so much nicer to have consistency of attack. Because not only do the explosivo shots not damage and thus kill the enemy instantly, but also... Okay. Uh, they don't have any knockback associated with them. So I couldn't control those, those little haunts in the way that I would like to have done. There's no real excuse for taking that much damage on. Why is this happening to me? Get myself in these silly situations because, again, I'm fairly convinced it's simply because I'm used to being able to knock enemies out of the way and because I've only got one shot every five bloody years. Let's use this pill. Okay. This is a speed run, apparently. Mm, back. That thing is trying to bounce me into that thing. I genuinely thought that there was a tinted drop back there. There wasn't. Can I please have some money? You can give me some money, sure. I'll take it all, even though it's been a problem for me so far. Because uh, I'd like... I don't want to min match too much, because honestly, if this run ends here, I might just do a normal run with somebody else, because... Trying to get through these keeper runs is hard enough as it is, without also having the extra caveat that I'm... Excuse me, trying to get to the Crown of Light, which is in an angel room, which is difficult. Not sure what these dodges are. Because every time you miss, you not only miss with three shots, you miss with three shots for like the rest of your life until you get to shoot another time. Which is an exaggeration, I'm sure you understand. But it does seem like rate of fire is such a big deal with the keeper that it changes the way you play the game. And that's good, that's why it's a challenge. You know, it's, it's not like we can't get hit at all. Although we do have to actually earn these deals with the devil in order to deny him another speed upgrade. This is silly. But... Yeah, the challenge in this is not just the low HP and the fact that your uh, coins are your HP, rather than the traditional, as you may understand, HP. Uh, but... I, mean, I don't really know what in law would sort of justify the triple shot start. But you can see how it uh, makes it so much more difficult, because you can't can't back yourself into a corner and hope that the enemy dies with a few more shots because half the shots are going to miss and the other half the shots are not going to be pushing it away from you at a regular enough rate. If you miss any shot, you basically miss three shots. Um, or if you're lucky, you maybe get one of the three shots to hit. At which point, you've still done a third of the damage. It's very difficult not to take red heart damage. 
I think that's the problem with this keeper thing, is that not only is my not really paying attention because I don't want to do it, um, it's mildly demoralizing, you can't, don't you dare, you can't really avoid taking red heart damage because you cannot have a spirit heart to protect you. Now, Kane. Kane lets you open... <laughs> okay, look. Just get with it. You, you're... I'm zoning out. I'm unfocusing for some reason. My brain's saying, you don't need to look at these enemies. It's just a simple game of Isaac. But that ain't how it is. You know, now that we're doing a real character, it's... Excuse me. It's quite imperative that we actually succeed at this run. And if this, this creature is hard enough to hit without it deflecting all my shots all the time. Good grief. Why are you supposed to explode yourselves after a while? There we go. So, yeah, let's, let's do a Kane run. Kane's easy. Kane's got some good stats. Kane's got them trinket. That was pretty good. Uh, them trinket helpers, which allow us to open all the golden chests in the world. Which means, hopefully, we can get something decent like Guppy's head to go along with... Well, two more Guppy items, preferably, but just sort of as a generic spacebar item to start off with. What have we got here? Mom's wig. Mom's wig is pretty good. If we can find that and then some Guppy items in golden chests, then we're definitely going to want to look to find Hive Mind in a shop. There is a Tinted Rock here, so maybe using... Oh, yeah. We haven't got any money either. <laughs> not only do we not know what it is, we haven't got any money, so that was definitely a waste of a key. Again, I'm not paying attention, I don't know why, so let's try and rein that in right now. I feel like that's a secret room, but also I feel like it's not. We got lucky and we're given our key back. We would have two keys, of course, so it's not like we're necessarily giving it back, but at least it doesn't gate us completely out of the next floor's everything. Just one of the things. Champion Famine. Will give us a cube of meat, but I don't really want to use it too much. It's the sort of thing that can cause us great stress. If we try and use it as our principal damage dealer, which is very likely, because unless we get also a decent damage upgrade pretty quickly, we're going to find ourselves in one of those situations. And I don't really like being in a situation where our main damage dealer is a melee item, because then you end up walking into enemies and you run the risk of losing the run, which is not what we're here for. We're here to not take deals with the devil is a ball of bandages. We're here to not take deals with the devil, and we are here to get Crown of Light from the Angel Room so we can finally stop doing this. Seller 2. Uh, crack Sky is actually pretty good. I think it's pretty good in general. It's definitely pretty good early on, especially on the seller, which is a pain in the ass anyway. Wouldn't mind some of those um, golden chests that I was talking about. Probably the secret room then. It looks like one of these is a library. Probably that one, but we can just sort of scum our way into here, see which one's which. Black Candle. I was just thinking at the end of the last one that if we picked up a random item and it happens to be Black Candle, well, that would be cool. But now that we have one that we know Infested. is Black Candle, more spiders, then I'm quite tempted to try and pick it up. And if we can get into this library too, not the Revenge of the Library, but this library as well, we may be already tempted to replace Crack the Sky with something even more better for us. I don't know. Crack the Sky is a really good offensive item, and I think it's actually been improved for Afterbirth, because in Rebirth, it was really... I just walked into the easiest enemy in the game to avoid and kill. Um, in Rebirth, it seemed like it never did any good. But I feel like in Afterbirth, maybe they've programmed it in so that it's at least guaranteed to hit one thing when you use it. Which, in my opinion, makes it uh, a keeper. It's definitely something that you... I was not paying attention to that because I was worried about this one shooting me. Um, it's definitely something that you take home to your mum and, uh, you know, can be proud of spending a lot of your time with. But more specifically, you can use it later into the game and it can do things like completely one-shot a boss for you. So we will not be taking this deal. Whatever it is. Oh, I really want to take it. Just leave. <laughs> Don't be tempted. We're doing angel rooms. You know, as much as Death's Touch would guarantee you the win, which is why the angel rooms are shit, uh, we're looking for a specific thing, and we will not hesitate until we found it. We've done it. I really want that key. I've not done everything. 
I can find a bomb or a key in this last room or two. Uh, that's kind of the opposite of bomb. That is a thing that is entirely based on me having several bombs, in fact. I like the fact that we just gain spiders whilst we're walking around idly shooting. It means you can walk into a room after a while and just own everything with dealing to spiders. That is not quite a bomb or a key. Try my patience game. I mean, we went to the shop for free. Well, not for free. We spent bombs instead of keys, but we didn't have to spend the key on doing so. We haven't had a single golden chest. Golden chests uh, that... As Kane with the paperclip, or as anybody with the paperclip, suddenly golden chests become such a valuable thing because not only can you get a guppy item from them, but there is a guppy item which produces them. So suddenly you're already looking to get two guppy items just as a result of having get rid of this. Um, just as a result of having the paperclip to open said chests. But of course we are not finding any of them and will not be hopefully getting deals with the devil in which to find them, so we're going to have to play a little bit better than I am doing and stop whacking the microphone. If you can avoid it. Uh, yeah, we have the chariots. So, oh, okay, fair enough. Well. I'm also not going to attempt fate by trying to beat up the angel statues. We'll do that when we're all good and ready. Do we continue with this? Yes, because it's a mob trap room, not a boss trap room. And I'm still using cube of meat. Well, full of bandages do my damage because I don't know what's good for me and also our actual damage stat is shit and we didn't pick up death's touch because we're trying to do angel runes because we have one thing left to do before this game is finally over and we can start playing how we want to. Maybe I should just do it with the greed mode thing. It worked for Godhead, right? And I've still not seen Godhead in the actual game despite the number of hours I've played it. I mean, even some runs force themselves into angel runs. And I still haven't seen Godhead. Except in that one run, which I recorded by just re-rolling until we got items with a uh, Chaos and Greed mode. Which worked really well. Very good. Crack the Sky definitely doesn't work too well on large rooms, by the way. So I'm probably going to just fight those normally. How do we do this room? I don't understand it. <laughs> Wow, okay. Maybe the spider got that? Spider definitely got that. No keys. Keep going then. <sighs> Finding crack this guy is really. Oh, what? Really not worth using right now. I cannot dodge for the life of me. I think it's because I'm shooting things going, that's dead. And then I turn around and it's not dead. I must be coming. I'm just in the daily, which is such a powerful run. Definitely should have used Crack the Sky on that entire room. Uh, it's such a powerful run that I was owning, like, Satan in less time than it took me to beat those things. Probably a little bit of a hangover from that, so... Also, excuse me while I adjust this microphone, because... There we go. I found myself peering through the pop filter. The pop filter? The pop filter? Yes. Die. Okay. Don't even get the other one. That's why you don't use them on large rooms. Because it's the same number of beams of light, but a much larger catchment area for the uh, for the beams to cover, and therefore much less likely that it actually hits any individual enemy. Is every enemy one tile? Because even ones that are multiple tiles are literally multiple individual tiles, aren't they? Some of them are so much smaller. Now I'm worrying, wondering about the... When you start wondering about the way a game engine works, you know you're really not paying attention to what the game is doing. Which may be a good thing, you know. Autopilot at this stage might actually help us out. And I feel like Roid Rage has somehow made us better in terms of DPS, even though that's silly because all it is is a speed. And range upgrade. A rage upgrade. Roid Range. Can we get rid of these? Thank you. The speed upgrade actually really helps, so I'm thinking maybe it's possibly slightly psychosemantics, but at the same time, having the range upgrade means I can attack from further away, and having the speed upgrade means I can get into position and move again, out of position, making it much easier to dodge. I've been having some trouble with actually dodging recently. 
It's not my, uh, it's not why I play this game. I just want to keep going for runs that are so powerful I don't have to dodge. We've seen this. We will take this because we are a character that can benefit from them. But I think I'm just going to go. I don't really want to do the rest of this floor. There could be something hiding out like a curse room or something, which now I think about it, it's probably a good thing to go for because if we're not going to be going to go, we're not going to be taking the deals with the devil, then we should probably go to rooms that could give us devil items without costing us anything. Hmm. Well, I should have used the cracked sky on that, shouldn't I? Let's go this way then. Fine. Like this. Uh, it's very scary, but we'll use the chariot card. We'll go on our HP for a minute. Because we're currently only on half an HP per play. And we get two plays out of it. I'm not going to use this in case it's telepills. I don't want to pay to get in again. The chariot. I will use the chariot. Please keep going. It doesn't really last long enough for me to be comfortable with this. Oh, there we go. We've got the uh, actual... Nope. <laughs> it's another speed upgrade. This is a speed upgrade day. Didn't take the pill. Are we just going to take this two of clubs like I have? Because I don't really want to think about it. I don't want it to be in my... Oh, God. I didn't even know you were there. I'm so fast. I can't react to things being in my way all of a sudden. Right, we're not... Uh, we're not in trouble yet. We do have a little Chad to help us out from all these mistakes that we keep making. I'm having to inch my way around things like that because without doing that, I'm just going to walk straight into the spikes because I can't control my character. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going this way. I'm okay with it. Um, we'll come back for that. I think. I mean, having all these extra half hearts coming from little Chad all the time basically means that we can... We do have the luxury of... Did I step on the spikes somehow? Are you fucking what? Deal with it. <laughs> How are you supposed to stand anywhere in this bloody room, huh? Um, having all these extra HPs from little Chad means that we can at least think about coming back to this blood bank. Spending some HP in it. Uh, getting some cash. Maybe using the cash to buy something from the shop, which actually increases our damage for the first time in the whole game. And we are on half an HP, so I'm about to completely lose everything. Yep, there we go. But don't get hit by a champion and you'll be fine. Open this because the golden chest is free. All our HP back. Very well. And this is probably a super secret room. And that's probably a secret room next to us as well. Pills. Dangerous, but we'll do it. Pills. Two of these is lemon pie. Lemon pie is a pretty good pill, especially if our enemy, our boss enemy specifically, is on the ground. And a tears upgrade is at least a DPS upgrade. Which is something. But not everything. Three bombs back from that is cool. And I think we've increased our chance of a deal with the devil slash angel having done that. So not completely a terrible thing to have gone down there. And I think we made ourselves a little bit better from the from the pills room of all things. Which is why I always take pills, because oftentimes it's just simpler to not worry about what it could be. Take it, and if it's a if it's a negative, it's probably not such a huge negative, unless it's you know, something as oner uh, onerous ornery, as a health down pill when you haven't got very much health. Let's get rid of... Uh, that was actually quite a lot, considering I was saying don't use these on big rooms. Use is fine. But we know there's a health down pill, which will become a health up pill uh, when you have only one HP anyway, so... You can find another one of those, and then... Well, it's not like we're selling HP, so... Maybe we'll get nine lives, I don't know. It's valuable knowledge, at least. If nothing else, just to never take it again. This is a good time to use Lemon Party, maybe, but I'm going to save it for the boss. Just in case the boss is on the ground. Uh, and the Crack the Sky doesn't own it, I guess. So that's why I'm thinking that maybe Crack the Sky has been buffed, because it seems like it will always hit at least one enemy on the room. So it seems like it will always hit the boss, which means it's really, really good against bosses. Especially this... Yeah. It was on the ground, but we didn't need it to be. We've got Pageant Boy. We have been to the shop. I don't really... I don't buy anything, so I'm guessing maybe I didn't want anything? There was a battery... It was the battery, wasn't it? Rather than... 
9 volt, which is not that great in this situation. Where am I even going? I'm going to get that eternal heart. I knew there's something else I wanted. My brain was saying go back, but it wasn't explaining why, so I just sort of was. Okay. So we will get our HP back on the next floor. We would have had one more, of course, if we hadn't noobed it up, but okay. HP back. Now we just need to not walk on any spikes or something. Equally foolish, which is also extremely likely. Whilst we make our way back to the boss room. Plenty of HP on the ground. Probably could have played that some more, but who wants to spend the time? Not I. Let's leave. We've got our charge back. That's nice. We found both secret rooms, which is also nice. We're going very slowly, which is not nice, but I'm picking my way through this run, waiting for, you know, something to happen. I wish it was the 60s. I wish we could be happy. Thank you, little Chad. Little Chad's actually being really useful right now. We'll take the world card straight away. I want to keep hold of Lemon Party. There is a mini boss in here, which I will check out. It's unfortunately Envy. So I guess we could give a shoot the whoop. Do I want that? I'm actually really happy we cracked the sky right now. Let's keep these things at bay. Can we get a shoot the whoop from Envy, or is that just super Envy? I don't really want to change my trinket either, even though it could guarantee us a couple more shots. Uh, I guess... We don't do that yet, because we don't have spirit hearts, and that means that we're... Already a bit vulnerable in terms of not getting the angel deal, which is the whole reason we're playing this game right now. You know, we haven't had one for a couple of floors because we've been taking red heart damage, so we need to stop doing that. Look at our range. It's really good. More red HP. It's, just, it's kind of a problem to some extent, because if little Chad is useful, then you're doing it wrong. Well, panic's a little bit there. Good. Keys are fine. There's no reason to go in there. Bait these things and let them fire at you. This one's a lot easier than the one on the previous floor, no doubt. Mostly because you don't have those stupid spikes hemming you in and making it impossible to actually avoid the, the wormy things, which in this case are brimstone lasers, but honestly that makes it a lot easier because they spend time on the screen and you can see where they are and you don't have to figure out how far away you can stand. Oh, there's a tinted rock in here. Kill everything. <laughs> take no chances. Yes, that's what we like to see. So if we do well, we can consider going to the curse room. Hmm. Without piercing shots, I think we re-roll it. I think we use money to do that. Yes, I think we take that. Um, we use money for the simple reason that we have way more of it, and the bombs are going to be good for uh, Tinted Rocks. And Tinted Rocks and Spirit Hearts. Spirit Hearts are not dying. In hopefully great quantities. We can also go into Yon Shop and still buy something. Which will be the map. What's uh, what's Pandora's box on this floor? Is it for Spirit Hearts? It is. Oh, thank you. That's actually better economy than just buying the Spirit Heart. Even if the Spirit Heart uh, refreshed. Which it doesn't. So now we can definitely go to the Cursed Room. And, you know, obviously to hell with Boss Rush. We are pretty lucky to have got Mum's knife at this stage of the game because it's... Oh, what are you walking on spikes for? It's really the only way of getting any... I've, I've stopped talking. Because I managed to make... I'm going fast enough. Ooh, there you That the damage from... I've got... <laughs> four, four. Come on. The damage from walking on the spikes... Wow, this is going really well. Lasted long enough that I could walk into the curse room without taking any damage. But I don't have Blind Rage, which would... I didn't even think it would last through the rooms, you know, beyond the extent of the room in which you took the damage. But in fact, it not only lasts beyond that extent, but through two rooms. Uh, enough to get... I'm very happy to have received this minor gift from the game, making it obviously the correct thing to have done to want to go into the curse room in the first place. Not telling us where the super secret room is. That's okay. I mean, we have the map now, so we can at least figure out where we're going to want to go. Spikes, uh, Callus could be okay. We could play that, for example, or blow it up. I'm tempted to try this as a super secret room. Mm-hmm. More, more rooms is fine with me. Right, show yourselves. I could see it, but I still failed to... 
I, I'm just upset Dagos. that the thing didn't die on Mom's knife. Several Dagar's pills. We've got so much HP on this floor. An Algis rune, a Perro rune, which is very good because we can take this into the boss fight. So much HP all of a sudden. We'll get that on the way out. If we can kill this damn boss without using up all the HP, we just been granted. Somehow, I am successfully not walking into these dips, even though <laughs> when I try to use Mom's knife as a little melee weapon to stop something walking into me, it sort of walks around it and div me in anyway. So we've managed to take... Ah! I was going to say we've managed to take no um, red heart damage. But we got a uh, deal with the devil. Uh, I should have used Crack Sky for that. I'm going to keep the Perthrow room because if we come across an item room we're just shitting it that I don't want to deal with, I think it's going to be much nicer to have the Perthrow room than basically anything else. Like A Yarrow room is no use if we're not going to get the advantages we need to even make it to the chest, which I think we have in the sense of Mom's Knife, but I'm still not that great at piloting Mom's Knife, especially when these things are dancing around the place. Um, so, I was lucky. I think we take Perthrow, it gives us a little bit more of an advantage when it comes to the item rooms. I have plenty of HP. Oh, I didn't go back for that. Spirit Heart that I said I would go back for, in very literal terms, where I said we'll go back for that. Oh, I didn't mean to play you, but I guess we'll get bombs or a fly. Yeah. Mm. HP there. We'll come back. Abel. Of all the things that that could have been. Shop. Shop. Buy something. Chaos? <gasps> well, I'm happy to receive a deal with the devil whenever you want one. Let's buy the other one. Feeling good about it. It's supposed to blow that up or whatever. Oh. <laughs> now we do it anyway because I accidentally picked up the other spirit heart. Because I'm bad. Kind of like that. 14 cents. Okay, well, we can replace... Um, I think it's okay to replace the lock pick with this uh, flat penny trinket because the flat penny will give you keys whenever you like 50% uh, like of the time you pick up pennies whereas the lock pick only gets you into a golden chest so having keys half the time instead of not needing keys seems that much better because simply there are more things to open than just golden chests, and I think there are more than 50% more things that aren't golden chests to open, so. Basically, I'm saying I think the number of keys more than makes up for the fact that we have to use them. <laughs> Thank you, but no. I'll get my money back for that. The only time I've successfully used glowing hourglass is when I bought it by accident and <laughs> rewound to get my money back for it. Which I think is a perfectly good use of it, to be honest. At least we know what's in there. And now that we have chaos, we can start taking deals with the devil. BFS in a red chest is fine. Oh, what is this? Now I wish I had the callus from the previous floor. Right, now we can get open all the golden chests anyway. Our damage is still not that great. That that was not the uh, greatest of Monstro 2 damage dealings that I've ever seen. Although it died a lot faster when Mom's Knife was on it in transit. Does Mom's Knife do more damage when you're firing it than it does when you're meleeing with it? Give me all this stuff. Definitely not doing boss rush. <laughs> At least we're going a little bit faster now, but we're not going to make up the time because the time's already passed. Unfortunately. Ah, pins. Fire. Fire. Do -do -do. How am I missing? That's the real question. Please, there we go. Just walk into it. Take the HP if you need to. The HP. Hit. Spend the HP if you need to. Wow, one mom's knife through all segments of pin did not kill a pin. That is outrageous. I want my money back. Uh, could be something down there, so we'll check. There is. It's the item. Which is basically what I wanted to be here, so. Arrange it. Our range was good before, when we were on this floor before, this room before. And I said as much. Halo of Flies is okay. 
And now the end is near. Um, our range is still good, but we have Mom's knife, which means our range is good with a sharp pointy thing instead of the sequence of tears, which essentially did zero to less damage. Oh, plenty of HP. We don't need the money, so I'm not going to go back to the blood bank. I hate this. That one killed it straight away, so whatever. And the boss. Okay, depths. Well. We actually. If I had realised this was depths 2, I probably would have been able to at least rush to boss rush, as it were. This just. That didn't really help. I'm trying to melee with this because whenever it's away from me, I find that it's harder to deal with. Wow. Basically, because as soon as I let it go. Let it go! Sorry. Um. You, you, then something turns up next to you, mom's foot comes down or something, and you wish that you hadn't. I'm buying everything. Gimpy, that's probably okay. Part of it. So my brain went, we've got little Chad, which is a great dark bum synergy. Gimpy is also a great dark bum synergy. Oh, we got Gimpy. There's no point being here. Oh, maybe there is. Um, it's going to be a great dark bum synergy. going to have dark bum. Wouldn't mind. Do not have. Right, let's see if we can... I took the deal with the devil, of course. Because now that we have chaos, we're just as likely to find Crown of Light in an item room or deal with the devil as we are to find it. In an angel room, in fact, we're slightly more likely to find it than deal with the devil because you never fucking get an item in the goddamn angel room. And now that we have chaos, those items in the fucking angel rooms are going to be shit anyway. Like, they're even less likely to be an angel item than they were when they were going to be angel items. So we were actually more likely to get angel items in devil rooms and other such places where item re comes from than we are to get it in the angel room. Or at least we're ex exactly as likely. Okay, we're exactly as likely to find the angel room item on any given item pedestal, but we're way less likely to find an item pedestal than an actual angel room in the freaking first place. Because angel rooms and Edmund hate you. I walked on the spikes because I thought I was faster than I was. I am in this room because I wasn't paying attention to the map. Yeah. Okay, stop it. You're doing it again. It's very hot. See, these are the rooms that on the daily were just giving me endless advantages. There's a diamond here, but I don't really care. I'm going to do the diamond, huh? Diamond another day. Avoiding getting hit by the skin of my teeth. Why would, you, why would the skin of your teeth be hitting you? Because they hate me, just like Edmund. Teeth don't have skin. I know. It's a turn of phrase, isn't it? It's an idiom. It's almost a metaphor. And then he's thinking, what's a metaphor? Well, it's for describing the thing without being the thing. It's a thing about a thing. We'll do this. We get day guards. This gives us some HP, which I am sorely lacking because I keep using it on walking into enemies. Which you might think is, you know, at least a pastime of mine, is not. The frequency with which I do it, you may be considering otherwise. I understand. Uh, I don't want to fight a Christian over this setup, but we're gonna. Whoop. We still have a cube of meat, which is protecting me from various shots that I probably should not be needing protection from. But I'm at least not using it as my damage dealer anymore. Although I am still meleeing, it's just I'm using Mom's knife to do it, which I believe has a very similar hitbox when I think about it. So, whenever Mom's knife is able to hit something, surely Cuban Meat also is. It's the bloody handle that does all the damage anyway. What sort of knife is this? Oh, this is a fun room. It's tedious like those centaurs in Hexen. Probably directly inspired by it. Can't even use Crack the Sky on them. Might as well use it here. We've got a battery. Hmm. Well, I didn't really get any items at all on this floor. I was kind of hoping at least a golden chest or something would pay out. I didn't really get any money. And therefore... Um, keys. Why am I dash- What is this dodge? It's working, but... 
Don't look at it in case it disappears. We've got the Perthro rune as well. We know what we're looking at. So, there we go. Like, Kratos guy basically is killing every single enemy. Immediately. Oh, this is shit. I don't want any of this crap. We've got a yes mother. We've got the mother trunk. We've got the mom trunk. Great. Up. There's our health up pill that we uh, mentioned earlier. Because we started spending HP on deals with the devil, which I said we would not be doing. But of course we are. Right, give me stuff. That was actually a very good use of the uh, blood bank sound. Not only did we get several keys, we've got a key. Um, but we got the uh, spirit heart out of it too. There could be something here. There is. It's a boss trap room, which we can actually get into having played the blood bank, which is great. So we should try it. I mean, mob trap and boss trap rooms are equivalent. That was weird. See that? It looks like it's got eyes. <laughs> Creep me out a little bit. So we don't open all three, because if it teleports you out, actually that's okay. Um, we don't open all three in dailies, if you want to fight them in dailies. Uh, and they could teleport you out and cancel the room, and if the third one teleports you out and ends the room, you can't start the room again. What makes you larger? Do not want. Large enough. Larger than life right now. Health down. Wrong way. We will keep the health down till I guess. Because we use the Perthro rune. Ooh, it's close. Um. Are you a wizard? Does it help? Anyone anyway? No. Uh, we may get a deal with the devil. And the deal with the devil will take our HP and then we can use it again and get some more. If we do it right, we don't even need to necessarily worry about the fact that you can't use the, um, an empty... You can't use red HP if you don't have any red HP in the HP containers. Shouldn't need to worry about that either. So that's fine too. Please. Can't not hit you. Oh, that was two of you. Brilliant. I, I don't understand what that Gurdy did, but I'm grateful for it having done so. Although it did trap me in a corner with its creep, so that makes me a little bit sad. Can you two just finish this off? Okay. We'll do it. Still worth a look, I think. That was a bad bomb. Kick. That was a great one. So, it is what it is. That was an awful, awful curse room, and I regret going into it. How is Mom's knife being this poor? We really need a damage upgrade, which we've just not been blessed with thus far. Uh, we don't need to be in this room. But I've done it again. I was just sort of pil also piloting my way through. Well, I took damage, so whatever. I do wish we had Blind Rage, actually, because it's so much easier to use Mom's Knife when you've got something like Blind Rage. If you take damage, you just walk into everything. Because you've got a very solid few seconds of invincibility with Blind Rage. Ooh, careful. I'm very reluctant to hit these enemies because they explode. That one exploded anyway. Like, these ones don't explode, but that one was a champion, so it exploded anyway. Very upsetting. She'll be right, no worries. I find it pretty difficult to hit these bastards. Why are there two of the same sin in the same room, though, huh? It's just like an extra lusty room. Here's a fine. Tears. Question marks. Hematomesis. Okie dokie. Let's go this way. I mean, you can see how when you use Mom's Knife as non-melee, and then all of a sudden you have to use it as melee. I've got this crack the sky as well, we should be using it. I'm also trying to find Tinted Rock. Not really working. Deal with that room for me. Nothing in there, don't go that way. We're doing okay. I'm getting better with Mom's Knife at least. But we still haven't found Crown of Light. Which... It's not that uncommon of an item, I have to be honest. It's only uncommon because of where it's found. But it's like, it's not like a godhead, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's more like a, a sensor or a seraphim or something. If you're gonna find an angel room, it pretty stands a pretty good chance of having a crown of light in it. And it's a great item. Which makes me upset as to how difficult it is to get. At least we can use, um, 
some extent. I'm concentrating. Why have you gone quiet? Talk about what you're doing. I'm staring at the screen going, how do I avoid getting hit by all of these things right now? We get a deal with the devil. It has got HP in it. <laughs> so we use, it. we use that and get our HP back. And then we just go up. Because I have had enough. We still could get it on the chest. Don't forget that. Which is why, ultimately, I th thought that having um, this trinket rather than the chest opening trinket would be fine. Because we now have so many HPs that it's almost inconceivable that we can't open all the chests we find on the chest. We didn't get Guppy's tail, so like, we didn't get any Guppy items once we got Chaos. It was basically a guarantee that we weren't going to get any. Because we massively increased the pool of items that we could have got from the golden chests that we were originally saying could have contained those gu Ooh, guppy items. Great. Loads of golden chests. Very exciting. Open one. Half fucking heart. I've had little Chad the entire game. And you're supposed to make me make me try and be excited about half fucking golden heart. Golden heart? Half golden heart would probably be a little bit better. No, half a red heart. No, do not want it. Please, hit the baddies. I think there's a certain amount of knowing when to hold them and when to fold them when it comes to Mom's knife. Half the time you basically do not want to be... Oh my god. You see that joke? Half the time you just don't want to be firing it at all. So there's probably nothing in here, but we'll check. We checked. I'm also finding it pretty difficult to hit things that also move. Okay. These ones always explode, I believe. Careful. Okay. Look. Everything is moving towards me, and Mom's knife has like zero hitbox. So. And basically no damage. I don't think we've had much, if any, of a damage upgrade this whole game. So you'll forgive me for having a little bit of trouble not only hitting with Mom's knife, but actually making the hits that I do make with Mom's knife count for anything. Such a huge range. Probably this is enough keys. That Mom's life also takes absolutely forever to come home. Do we do the curse room, do you think? It exploded anyway. See, I'm trying to make sure Mom's knife is not near me when the exploded things get close to me. No, we don't do the curse room. Well, live and learn. The melee nature of Mom's knife is both a blessing and a curse, quite frankly. Especially when those exploding things charge you down. The fact that Loki is just not falling apart really doesn't fill me with confidence for the next floor. Because the next floor is entirely bosses, almost. Okay. Don't even have crown of, uh, crown of light. We don't even have crack the sky for this boss. And this boss should be simple as all. You're killing me that that thing does contact damage. I'm just going to walk into you now. Screw you. I'm getting frustrated, you can probably tell. And it's... <sighs> I took Mom's knife because it's such a good damage upgrade, but we didn't get anything else that augments it. I think that's what's making me slightly ornery right now. Because it's not like it's that easy to control. We've got Cuban meat, which is doing us no good at all. Please at least hit the bad guy. The, the boss there. I don't even know if he's a bad guy. He's in a cathedral with all... You know, he's crying his eyes out and causing beams of light to come down from heaven, it's hard to imagine that he's uh, the bad guy in this situation, but it's also hard to imagine that he's the good guy. This is probably one of those situations where it's neither bad nor good, it just is, and you should sort of take it, live with it, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's Isaac, Isaac has to defeat Isaac, well, Cain, because Isaac is some representation of Cain. Look, I'm not reading into this. I'm sure on the internet there's a lot of speculation on Isaac Lord. I know there is. I've no idea what any of it means. The point is, you're supposed to stab Isaac with Mom's knife or whatever you have to hand. So Isaac flies off, gives you a chest. You go in the chest and you do the same to Blue Baby, which is Isaac in a chest. Post suffocation, as far as we understand. Right, what do we get? Ink, yes. HP, yes. Yes. These are all good items. I'm a fan of these. Forever Alone is probably the nicer of the attack buys. 
We also now have at least a little bit of HP and a little bit of damage. Do we have any damage? No. We have another Orbital. It'd be nice if I could get... There isn't enough... See, the, the tactic with Mom's Knife is basically to move... Oh, bad. Move away from the enemy at the speed that Mom's Knife moves towards the enemy. That was uh, just terrible damage. By me failing to be in the right place for a telegraph attack from the adversary here. Um, move backwards at the same speed as it goes forward, so it spends as much time on the enemy as possible, but there's no room to do that right here because our range is so good. So I'm thinking in this situation, we might actually want to look out for Lazy Worm, which will cause our, uh, our range to go down a great deal. And thus give me way more control over Mom's Knife. Now, it would also mean that our range went down a great deal. Fully understand that. That's the opposite of what I want. Just tears up change our range? I don't know. Death card. Uh, it's a worm trinket, so I appreciate the effort, at least. How... How is a chap playing Isaac supposed to melee damage attack the old uh, Gurdy there if there is m about a pixel's worth of difference between doing damage to Gurdy okie dokie, we can die and come back uh, and walking into Gurdy and that pixel's worth of difference was easily accommodated by the drift that you get when you decelerate in the first place I swear I wasn't doing any damage to Gertie until a split second before I was walking into Gertie. That was a good place to stand. Keep doing that. I hate this. We do have, like, two knives. You should be able to hit with at least one of them, you know? And I'm pretty sure the little one is doing the same amount of damage as the big one. Wait, we have BFFs, so the little one is doing more damage than the big one. So hit with the little one. <laughs> Obviously. What do we do in this situation? Not today. No. It's like Monkey Island all over again. You ever play that? Probably not. Where you... I'm pretty sure the, the trope has been used several times since. Um, you're, you're given a bunch of... Uh, insults, basically. You, pirates fight with insults. But you have to learn the responses to them. It's not it's not just um, about having a sharp tongue. It's about having a good memory. Right? It's, it's like there's a correctness to the insults that you throw people. You have to give them the right insults and you have to give them the right answers. And you know whether you got the uh, answer right or not because you gain ground. Well, apparently we're taking damage this way. But at the end of it, you have to use the same responses when fighting with the governor of Malay Island. You have to beat her for some reason in, you know, sword fighting combat to prove your worthiness for some MacGuffin. And then all of a sudden you're, you've got responses to but you don't know which one to use. You have to collect enough of them. Well, sad bombs with Mom's Knife are not very good, but I suppose you start using these bombs if you have enough of them. Let's use this, actually. Wow, he attacked me when I was thinking that he was about to die. Well done. Fair play to you. Um, all of a sudden you just have a, a load of responses and you have no idea which... which things she's going to say to you that you're expected to use them on. That actually had no effect. That had no effect. What is happening here? Our damage is horrendous. We might have to use all our bombs on Blue Baby, so we should save them up. In fact, we should save up this... Um, this battery charge right here. Leave me alone. Why can't you shoot you? I know it happens. Get on with it. Too many things to watch. Oh, man. Stop it. I'm killing G uh, the G Gluttony last because I wanted to get some maybe HP out of it, but it did not happen. We didn't get Crown of Light on a ooh, fucking Chaos Run shitload of chests, chests, bloody, what is happening? You know? If we're ever going to get Crown of Light, it's going to be on Chaos. I'm thinking maybe we play a little bit more Greed Mode, see if we can get it all sorted out. Um, mostly because I'm tired of trying the Angel Room thing. And I want to just play this game without having it hanging over my head. 
when we finally got what we deserve, our accolades of glory, we can start playing this game in streaks, so let's do a greed run. That was a long episode, I apologise for that, but I did do the keeper like three times very badly before we did it, and we did win, even with Mom's Knife, even with my bad play, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode for Greed Mode. Yes.